Shawshank Redemption. Um, Shawshank Redemption, yes. What is that <laughs> about the Shawshank? I remember that bit. That's the, what is the bit that always um, nags me? Is the bit that Morgan Freeman does the voiceover, doesn't he? He casually um, just skims over the bit where he says... Uh, who was the guy? What was the guy's name? Andy Dufresne. Andy Dufresne. He's like, oh, Andy Dufresne, because he gets sexually abused. And Morgan Freeman casually says, uh, oh, yeah, and this carried on for about five or six years. And then <laughs> carries on as if... I was like, back the, back the <laughs> fuck up. It's five or six years. If I was getting sexually abused... Every but he week, carried on. I'd, I'd fucking no think myself No one knew that he spoon. was getting sexually abused. <laughs> He took each day as he came. What's he say? He does say something like that, doesn't he? What's he, he say? goes, and this carried on for about six years, and then that's it. He carries this on. Carried on. No, thanks. Nice of Morgan there. This carried on for about six years, and I did fuck all to help <laughs> my pal. I could dig, I dig myself out with my bare hands. It took him 20 years. I'd do yeah. it in a week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if, if, if I was getting gang raped, you know, if I was getting gang raped <laughs> once, <laughs> every week next day, everyone's it. dead. i tell you that for now. <laughs> Everyone, anyone rapes me the next day, they're dead, because my life wouldn't be worth living. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to live. So I would kill them. Go on for six years. Six oh no, boys, years. don't do it again. <laughs> six years, he's still going in that store cupboard. Cl- yeah, six mistake. years. Six years, he, t- he took six years to dig a hole that was about a foot deep. He didn't want to get out. He's enjoying getting gang raped every day. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have had a poster of Raquel Welsh. I would have had a picture of like the sisters abusing him. That would have been enough inspiration. Uh-huh. That was, that's what the gang was called, the yeah, sisters. Yeah, the the sisters. sisters. The sisters were raped every day. Why was he going to the shower? I'm going to get raped again, but I've got to clean my feet. Well, what was he doing? Know, Where I, was he getting raped? It was in the cupboard. Where he always, he used to go, oh, Dandy, go down to the stores and get some uh, stuff. And <laughs> every time he went down to the stores, the sisters were waiting for him. Yeah, what, 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 were he like a library? What, remind, remind me. Uh, was, at was this point, friendly? he was working in like the yeah, what are you friends laundry with, like, bit. But was he friends with like the, the, the head of the police? The, the, the... No, that's, a, that's eventually after six years of being abused. That's it. They go, this carried on for about six years. And then and then they save him. Then they save him. But wait, Jesus Christ. During those six years, he must have got the majority of his digging done. He yeah. must have done. He was inspired. That, that is I would be digging non 24 7 if I <laughs> thought I was going to be raped. <laughs> I'd be like a mole. Like, I'd be like a Kango. Never... I'd, 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 I'd have dug the fucking Euro tunnel. <laughs> Just get <kiss. laughs> Just keep going. Yeah. I'd that, dug down to Australia. I think that, that whole film is based on the fact that he's given the cell on the end. Yeah. Any, one cell in and he would have been fucked. Well, he got fucked in six years. Yeah. He would have dug through and go, oh, Dave. <laughs> no, it's the sisters again. <laughs> yeah. Digs through to the sisters cell. <laughs> Why, hello. I think if Francis, how do you think you would have been one of the sisters? Yeah, that's just... oh, I, would, no, I mean, I would have just fucked them up, really. <laughs> Just one at a time. This carried on with Francis. Isn't it funny? For 10 isn't, it, isn't, it, isn't it funny what you see? I mean, like, I just sat there and said, "If that was me, I'd kill him." <laughs> <laughs> isn't it funny what I say here in the safety of my house? <laughs> I'm sure, that if that option had crossed his mind, I'm going to kill him. That's what I'm going to do. But you know, people do that so often. I do. Don't I do they? all the time. Like... I, t- I tell people all the time. Somebody tells me what happened to him, and I say, "You know, what I'd have done. Yeah. I'd have fucking knocked him out." <laughs> and in reality, I'd have probably done exactly what he done and said yeah. nothing. A common, thing. a common thing is people always say, oh no, if I was in prison on the first day, I would beat up the biggest bloke in there. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I'd Nick, that would be a bit of the biggest <laughs> hard nut in there. Yeah. Then, yeah, when it comes to it, they, they realise there's a few yeah. uh, blokes in the back five. I thought about that. I thought about that. I've actually thought that as well. I thought, so if I go to prison, I'd be like the biggest bloke in there. But, the, but we assume you beat this nutcase up, the next day he's going to like not want to fight you again. He want to fight you again. Well, the next day, by the way, Bob wants to have a fight again. But what? I beat him up yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bob, yeah. Bob, he'll fight you every day. Yeah. You've opened up a can of worms there, you nutcase. <laughs> he's got a gang with him today. Yeah. yeah. Bob's got a shank. Is it? Here you go, mate. It's a shank for you. One of my, one of my mates actually, fighter, yeah. actually went to prison. I said to him, what was the biggest fight over? I said, was it drugs? Was it honour? He went, no. Genuinely, EastEnders. Yeah. It is because that other, like, watching soaps is like a religion. Well, they're just bored, aren't they? Fighting's yeah, a, a pastime. And he says the biggest right he ever saw was over Coronation. No, it wasn't. It was Emmerdale. Someone switched over Get mid-Emmerdale. Him. And, you know, he just went mental. You sure it's a prison, not an old people's home? <laughs> How many chairs were being thrown? Like, the wardens had to come in. It took them an hour to calm it down. Carry People on. were going mental. No one fucking turns it over when it's Emmerdale. Emmerdale now? Yeah, Emmerdale. But that... I remember watching that Louis Thru. He did one of the American prisons. 
and they said there'd been a fight in the cell um, between this big bloke and this little bloke. And you think, oh, it'd be a quick fight, and that'd be they'd split it up, wouldn't you? Mm. Um, but he goes, oh, the tenth round, uh, he really kicked the shit out of him. <laughs> That's a round. They're all gathering round yeah. for ten rounds, just getting your head kicked in. Like somebody help. Next what would round. you do? I mean, I remember seeing. Um, have you ever seen the Midnight Express? Yes. No. That is the most depressing film. I mean, I mean, has been in a room. I, I was in. I was in. A dep- I went out to get a bit of weed. It was oh. actually a bit, a bit of not even weed. It was brown shit. And um, back in the day when I was young, I didn't like this stuff. I smoked it. Give me a migraine. Oh, solid. Solid. It used to be a headache, but for some reason, I was with a group of people who like smoke all the time, so I'd join in. And um, anyway, we're on this geezer's house. His house was fucking depressing. And it, it was depressing. It's one of my houses. It's, it's Middle of summer, he's got the curtains closed, he's got lizards everywhere, it's a really depressing room. And um, he, sticks, he sticks that film on. I remember sitting on the edge of his bed, we were watching The Midnight Express, the most depressing film in the world. But in that film there, he done, he done what I think would happen to you if you end up in prison. He has a fight with someone, I think, and he bites the guy's tongue off. Do you remember that? <laughs> he bite, a, um, how do you, how do you bite well, someone's he no hope. Turkish he never knew, prison, isn't it? Yeah, he never knew when he was going to get out. So in the end, in the end he just despair got the better of the man. And that's what happens. I think, I think, I think you've got to do to either, if you, unless you can keep your, get your head down, you know, and just get, get, get through prison with your head down. There. But the problem is, in prison, you're going to get someone who's going to want to dig you out to make sure no one else picks on them. So if you look too weak, you're going to become the target of someone who wants to use you to make themselves not be a target. What my advice to you, Francis? <laughs> don't go to prison. Because if we're in prison together, I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> I think I would take over prison. I'd have the gang. I'd be the one who controls everything. 